Uh, I think improving through the weekend. So we'll, we'll see once we get to Wednesday kind of how they feel. Were they able to participate in the walkthrough today? Um, some of them are a little limited in walkthrough. Uh, as for Joe Burrow's surgery, do you all have a date set yet? Not yet. Zach, is there a way, I mean, I know you guys are still gathering information, but say you guys were able to make make it to the postseason, would he be able to come back in the postseason? I would not think so. Okay. Are y'all still in the kind of information gathering process on that? Yes. How much have you seen him here in the last couple days? Oh, today. I mean, um, players weren't in this weekend, but today I saw him in everything we did. Were there moments or throws from routing against Baltimore that you found particularly encouraging? Well, the first one's a tough one. You know, it's a naked to your left. The throw to Trent Irwin, uh, that was good. Um, good awareness. It, you know, even even the third down one to Trent Irwin that they ended up overruling, I thought was a really good throw. Um, They're in the two-minute drive at the end of the first half. So th- those were some impressive plays that he made, some of the scrambles he made to extend some plays. So I, I was very encouraged with how he played. Obviously, the job of the quarterback is to go win the game for us. But um, I know that everybody's got a lot of confidence in Jake and, and excited to watch him play. As he develops, you know, what has he been working on and what could be a next step for him to make a, another leap for Well, I think he's just always preparing himself, you know. It, the things that happen during the week, the protection meetings, all that kind of stuff, that's um, – there's always more to playing quarterback than just completing the ball. And and that's one thing I've, I've certainly had a lot of confidence in Jake because you just watch him prepare to be the starter all week. Um, the calmness, the confidence in him. Uh, again, I mentioned this earlier, just to go on the road on a Thursday night, short week, tough environment, and have the poise that he had uh, shows that, that um, you know, we can have that confidence in him because he was ready for that moment. Looks like uh, his arm strength, people might underrate a little bit. And then his speed, the linebacker was real flat in his angle for Jake ran right by him. I mean, he's a little bit faster than you might think. Yeah, he's got good game speed. Yeah. You know, it's I don't know what his forty time is, but some guys just have that that awareness and that knack for making plays out there with their legs. And you saw that from Jake lot in the preseason. Those were really the opportunities he got. You saw it show up the other night. Um, the quarterback's job is to get the ball in the end zone and move the team. And and I thought Jake Jake's got that ability to do that for us. A big part of it, Zach, also is commanding the offense, commanding teammates yep. when you're in the huddle. And some of the guys inside said that's what you know has re- really impressed them in the preseason. No question. You know, he, he's been here a long time. He, he knows all the ins and outs of the quarterback as well as as well as all the other guys we've ever had come through here. And so excited to watch him get out there and compete. What is the key? Quarter, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Go, go ahead, Mike. Mike. Just a quick follow. What is the key to commanding an offense? Well, full ownership in what you're doing, you know, first of all. So if you're in there and guys got to feel that you don't maybe have full command over what's being asked to you, then it's hard for them to um, – to respond maybe when you're asking some of them. So what Jake has got is a full command of what we want of this offense, the intent of everything we're doing, full command at his position. And so then when he needs to talk to guys and ask for more, um, they they know that he's he's 100% certain of what he's doing. And so guys will rally behind that, and, and Jake certainly has those qualities. Go ahead, Avi. Did you have one? Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Uh, there's a lot of quarterbacks around here. Uh, there's, there's a lot of quarterbacks around here, and I know it's only high school, but do you guys ever look at his numbers and what he did in high school? Absolutely, yeah. I, I love looking at that kind of stuff, you know, and um, certainly always been aware of that. The, the prolific high school career he had was was aware of him, you know, during his time at Washington. And um, so, yeah, it's, I mean, those are things as a, as a kid who grew up playing quarterback, I was always uh, searching every website I could back in the late 90s, early 2000s of, um, you know, all those guys that set all those records, the, the Booty Brothers, the Mocks, all of those guys, Chris Leak, all those guys, you were always aware of those record setting and guys. And, and Jake is certainly in that category, having a perfect career over there in California. I know each game tells a different story, and that's how you guys look at it as coaches. But did the long weekend allow you guys to maybe evaluate what's been going on in terms of allowing as many explosive plays as you have in the last two games? Well, it's certainly something we got to shore up. And sometimes that happens with plays down the field. You're in one-on-one situations. Um, and it's it's not something that we want to have happen. I think our guys um, are eager to kind of hit the reset button. Not, not necessarily hit the reset button, but get refocused here as we play Pittsburgh. And um, it was good to have that three-day rest, extra three days for guys to get healthy and respond the right way. And um, I, I love the attitude that we've had from the guys in the building, the energy. And so I, I'm excited to watch this team compete this week. How much of that also, Zach, is you know, we take for granted maybe that some of these young guys have gotten thrown into the, the 
the mix, like a DJ Turner, Dax Hills, Cam Taylor Britt, they're still a relatively young secondary and sometimes they're growing things. Still, is that part of it or no? Well, I mean, it's it's on everybody at this point. You know, we're, we're over the halfway point in the season, so um, everyone's expected to be up to the standard right now. And, and again, it's... Um, we played played some really talented quarterbacks, some guys that are playing really hot right now, you know, and, and they had some explosives, C.J. Stroud and Lamar, and um, those guys will test you, but it's up to our guys to respond. And obviously, on as, a, as an entire team right now, we, these last two weeks especially, we haven't played up to the standard that we've held ourselves to, and uh, so it'll be good, good to get back to that this week. Speaking of those young guys back there, did we see a, a changing of the guard last week with Jordan Battle? And- coming in and just kind of taking that job. I thought he made the most of his opportunities, you know, and so we're going to continue to rely on everybody moving forward, but Jordan did a great job. Um, you saw him play a lot of the snaps in this game. That's going to continue as we go forward. Uh, so, again, it's all about grabbing the opportunity that's in front of you, and, and I think Jordan's done a good job of that. He's got to continue to be consistent going forward. The, um, for a lot of players, you know, a four-week stint on IR in the middle of the season, just a little bit of a blip for a rookie who's kind of building. I mean, how, how tough is that for Chase Brown to kind of shut it down and then get it back up? Hard for me to answer that yet. You know, it's today's the day that we we activate his window. I think he's feeling really good, and so it'll be good to see him get him out there full speed. You know, he was a guy we were starting to kind of give more to uh, right before. I mean, literally right as it happened. You know, that practice had been a good one for him, um, had given him some opportunities, and so we'll, we'll just see uh, how he responds to this, getting back into the mix of things, getting into team drills. Um, I think he feels pretty good right now, so we'll see how quickly we can get him up to speed and use him. Back to Jordan Battle, you know. Lou hasn't played a ton of rookie safeties. How much have you seen the, what he showed you in his uh, combine interview, Jordan Battle? How much have you seen that kind of translate and help him hit the ground running? I think the football intelligence is something that stands out right out of the gate. You know, from from the interviews you've had at the combine and. Uh, you know, Zoom interviews guys have had with him before. That was something we knew we were getting. Obviously, a talented player. He's played a lot of football over his high school career, his career at Alabama. And and you saw that this spring when he came in here and was doing the OTAs and all that stuff. You could see how quickly he picked things up. So that was encouraging. And now to get out there and do it live and um, made a lot of great tackles, was involved in a lot of plays the other day. And so that, that's encouraging. And we'll continue to build off of that. What's the time on Um, you know, sometime this this week, I would imagine. Yeah, you used the word respond several times today. There, there are so many people ready to write this team off because the body blow you take of not having your quarterback presence. How do you think this team will respond this coming Sunday going forward playing without Joe? They're excited. You know, it's something this team's always done is block out the noise and just focus on week to week. And you've seen this team go through many things over the course of this season, previous seasons. Um, one thing you know is that they'll always respond the right way. They're made of the right stuff. That's a big part of building this team is making sure the character that you get in there. And so, again, ex- excited to go back to work this week. Um, I think we all feel pretty fresh coming off that weekend. And uh, just excited to get back on the field Sunday and go play a game. I think seven different backup quarterbacks have led their teams to wins so far this year. Dobbs has done it with a couple of teams. Mm-hmm. Say anything about kind of the state of backup quarterback play and the, the chances of teams winning with their Backup guy. You know, I just focus on our backups, um, so I haven't paid as much attention around. I, I am familiar with Dobbs' story. I think it's incredible. Um, we believe in Jake, and that's why he's here, and that's why he's getting this opportunity, and that's what matters most to us. Um, obviously, we believe that he can he can help us go win games, and so that's why we're turning to him right now, and I'm excited to go watch him play. Not saying that uh, Jake and Joe that, you know, are the same guy quarterback, but do you think their style of play – is similar enough, will it be a little bit easier transition with the public school guys? I think, you know, as you build a quarterback room, you're looking for guys that play similarly to what your starter does. And um, I have been in too many rooms where you're finding somebody that's drastically different style than, than the starter because they're not going to get a lot of reps over the course of the season. We're fortunate with Jake that um, he got the majority of the reps in training camp and, and the times that Burrow missed. Um, so I think he's – um, he's as confident as he could possibly be at this moment, and then this week he'll know he's going to get all the reps and get ready to go. Did you hear anything from that conversation when you told Jake you're going to be the backup, you earned that job, going back to this summer? That seems so long ago. Um, I, I really uh, I can't specifically remember remember that direct conversation. With this team to, to make the playoffs or make the push, what, what do you need to see over the next couple of games to kind of make sure that to put you on the good we need to make sure we're just focused on Pittsburgh. That's what we need to focus on. Just going back and looking at what you've got in training camp in uh, 22 and training camp, uh, 
this year, that has to be. I mean, he has to go in with. I mean, that's a lot. Of, that, that's a lot of reps. For, I mean, that's a lot of reps with ones. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of not the norm, right? But he, what, what he got to, uh, no, certainly, um, it's a lot of reps. You know, as the season goes, you, you obviously get in game plan mode, and so there's the core things that you've carried over from training camp, and then you know, your, your offense continues to evolve over the course of the season. So there's things that maybe he's gotten fewer reps on that we've we've started to integrate into our system. But um, I think Dan Pitcher has always done a great job of taking those guys. P- part of being the backup quarterback is you got to do some stuff on air. you got to manufacture the reps. And Dan's done a great job of making sure that um, – that Jake and AJ have gotten those opportunities and are up to speed when their their moment calls for it, and and so again, it, it's a credit to those guys just staying ready and Dan being on top of them. Kind of played the position yourself. What, what do you use to not sympathize with you? Uh, he's got Baltimore his first uh, exposure, and now his first NFL start against Pittsburgh. Yeah. Two salty, uh, pretty good defenses to go up against to start your career that way. Yeah. It, that's part of playing in the AFC. That's part of playing in the AFC North, you know, and um, this team's ready to go play Pittsburgh. It's not Jake Browning versus right. Pittsburgh. It's it's the entirety of the team, and everyone's ready to step up and do their part, and uh, Jake's obviously going to be a big part of that. I feel like everybody's going to, the mindset is, take it up another notch, you know, offensive line fit, fit and finish better on the run, you know, better protection, the whole nine yard, every position group. I think everybody's taking it upon themselves to this last stretch of the season. We got to play our best football, starting with Pittsburgh, and we have a lot of great players on this roster in this locker room. and And I'm excited to watch everybody continue to step up and and uh, get back to where we need to be. Is there, when you go back and look at T. Higgins and what he's done since he's been here, is there a player touchdown that really comes to mind that shows how valuable he's been in the offense and what he's capable of? You said touchdown. The touchdown or play. Plenty of them. I mean, probably too many to, to name, to be honest with you. So many one-on-one plays, so many catch-and-run opportunities for zone. Um, you know, a lot of the a lot of those slants he's caught against the Chiefs in big moments um, here to clinch the game last year in the regular season, you know, help us get into field goal range in the AFC Championship game two years ago. Those are big moment, big plays. He's he's made even more than I can I can even reel off right now. But, um, you know, those are just to, just to name a couple of them. I mean, that, that's not the only route he's good at. You know, he's caught plenty of go balls and out routes and um, shallows and unders and slants. And he's just a big physical receiver. He does a great job with his technique. He does a good job catching the ball away from his body, um, using his size and strength to his advantage. And, you know, he's got a great understanding of the timing of our offense and when he should expect the ball. Um, he can identify coverages as well as, as any guy I've been around. And so he's got a ton of qualities that um, – you can't just put in one little sentence there, you know. So, um, again, it'll be exciting when we get him back.